relax you a little bit. When McPhee with the basketball, keep an eye on her. Her movement without the basketball is fun to watch. Up and under. McPhee Sherman. Difficult, but Jen Worth stepped in, got six points in that first quarter, and has really kind of given the evolution and the execution. This team's done a great job of absorbing what it's about. You'll see a lot of cutting and action and a totality of, of offensive attack. Coming around the screen is Kenzie, don't get Rice, one of the emotional leaders for this team. Wore those goggles in the WCC tournament for the first time and playing the duration of this one, it looks like, without him. Williams plays at such a pace. On the glass for the Stanford Cardinal here on their home floor. Because she's a junior. And she comes from Fairfield, Montana. Had just 27 kids in her senior class in high school. 107. Dijanae Carrington, an excellent rebounder for her size. There's a lot of football in her background. She actually played dance three of the four seasons. You know, what a job Lisa has done. You know, when you take... Double team couple. Bulldogs getting themselves on the glass early. They've got a lot of activity going on. You can still see them trying to find that home base, getting the ball to Barta. And they got to it early, but the Cardinal defense has done a pretty good job of limiting Barta's catches. Shot Blake Sneezik. Gonna take a little seat here for a moment at this point, but you can feel both teams just kind of feeling out, getting their game rhythm and, and finding out about their opponent. And, and jumped in an assistant role when they needed it, which I thought was incredibly powerful statement on his part. But it's hard to sit there as a parent. Pretty move in traffic. Three, three seconds. I always love to see how teams finish halves, and the Cardinal attack has been very personal foul. All right. Electing to leave her out on the floor. Tonight at Winward High School. Good luck to you, Vanessa. But seeing Allison Feaster again, I tried to guard her for so many years. <laughs> so I, I can understand staying. With the board and they will reset. Oh, what a juke. Talking about Williams, look at the presence right here. See that? That's just a play call in, in, in an extended situation. Pretty Browns play and Barta getting the score. She's now in double figures with 11. Jerome kick. year and no exception today. She's gotten better and better as the year has gone on playing her best basketball this season. The freshman with 11 first half points. She averages just over 10. This is right. Uh, pulls down the board. Yeah. Four dogs in a position where they kind of want to get tempo back. They want to be efficient. They want to run good offense. They want to score, stop, score, create that kind of momentum. Rice met at the 14. She leads all Cardinal scorers. Yeah, great weak side pin by Smith. Wonderful movement of the basketball by the Cardinal offense. Smith getting inside the lane. Smith's been a big story in this game. Her presence has been huge. It's a mishtah. Too much audit department, and this women's basketball team leading the way. Tara Vanderveer, her 32nd season on the farm. They're looking to go to real estate. Wants to kind of change the direction of the game right now. Keep an eye on number one three. The pull up jumper by Loetta is good. So Gonzaga now within 10. Make Important time, three minutes to go, 10 point separation. 
Can the Bulldogs find ways to cut into this? That's going to be a loss for Gonzaga. Onto the floor, Jen Worth, the 6'3 freshman from Chandler, Arizona. This is Smith. That one off for California. No staff of, of developing players because she is so much more of a player as a senior. And every year I saw an evolution in her skill, her talent, and just understanding how to play the game. Her production increased every single season. For four years in a row, she has gotten better. Very precise in her movement without the ball to receive it in great position. To a little one, two, one, one, three quarter court. Might cause a turnover. Near turnover. It's time to go to NCAA.com. Well, we saw a, an upset for the ages like yesterday. <laughs> and uh, you kept watching it, wondering if. Smith with the personal. That's just her first. Extended pressure for Gonzaga here. A little one, two, two. Uh, poked away by Smith. Seated. Watch the games. Get your app going over here and just go back and forth. I can't think of a better way to spend Saturday. I thought you were gonna say get your popcorn, but I guess you gotta Don't even need it. get your app first and then the popcorn for all this action. Don't even need it. I'm just gonna be absorbing everything. Bench. In that extended defense, you can see the one, two, two coming out of the free throw situations. They'll trap it if they get an opportunity. year to year and it's going to be interesting to see her as a senior because there, there's probably potential that she's going to tap in that year as well. Almost the steal by Barta moves so well for Sears because Tara Vanderveer has found ways to win with all different kinds of squads. It's been all about defense this year. On their home floor this season they allow just 54 points per game and 21% three point. You know out of timeouts Gonzaga has done a great job of executing. You know, it's been the flow part. Looks like an over and back. Might have, Stanford may have gotten away with one. They get it down low. The weak side defense by Sneezik drawing that foul. And so for Barta, that's her third personal. They're looking very comfortable at three on that finish. Johnson kicking it out to Smith. Too much on that one. Johnson hustling out. Barta now perfect at the line and 13 points for the junior. Yeah, Gonzaga extending their defense a little bit, looking to trap. Good from the three-point range for the 6-3 center for Gonzaga. Yeah, how about that? Offensive rebound, tip it to yourself, shoot the three. Not often you see out of a post player. 21 points now for Barta. The other way. The second foul on Stockton. And now time and possession, the best friend of the Stanford Cardinal. In the second half. You know, she's kind of elevated her look to finish the ball on some of that penetration, and she's been effective. with six points to lead the way so far. Able to deflect and catch. Williams, the catch and shoot. McPhee with the O-board. <laughs> with a high arch. Perfect speed to make decisions with the ball. Marta ripping that one away and stop. There's Keanu Williams, good dump off pass to Kaylee Bay with a turnover. McPhee kicking it down low to jump. She'll shoot the ball up through her face. Watch right here. Here's the angle, but it literally goes right up through her face. So that they're, they're giving power exactly what they can give her. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Stah getting the Cardinal on a 10-2 run. Their largest lead of the game is 10, and, and she's got three three balls. Sneeze it, turning the corner with her tournament games. Oh, no, no. No, no. Every step becomes a little more challenging. That's exactly what happens. 
There's Sneezik with it for a minute. Going in. You can hard. It's hard to sit there as a parent. Pretty new. Down. Two of three from deep. Score. Stanford defense getting another stop. Feaster again. I tried to guard her for so many years. <laughs> So I, I can understand Stanford's frustration. Her game, and she's already ahead of that number. Season wise, she's had great players, but seeing how. Across the floor, really good half court execution. She's just doing a lot of things without the basketball, and that's what Stanford has done well in this game. Cara Vandeveer putting the leading score on the bench for a minute, then bringing the. Allowed them to control most of the tempo today. Rice. Spark in this situation, but can they get the stops, these key stops in the last two minutes? Sneezik, the ball movement from the base. 